Welcome to J Dude's Review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing TNA Slammiversary 2013. Here we go. The three-way Ultimate X match for the X Division title, that's Kenny King, Chris Saban, and Suicide, was a high-flying spot fest, spot fest and fun to watch, even with Saban's predictable win. The six-man tag team match between the team of Jeff Jeff Hardy, Magnus, and Small Joe against the team of Ace and Eight, Ace and Eights, that's Mr. Anderson, Gary Bischoff, and Wes Briscoe, was a mess and meaningless to say the least. The Jay Bradley Sam Shawn match was average with little heat. The TV title match between Devon against Abyss, who was substituting for Joseph Park, was short and boring. The four way tag team elimination bout for attacking titles that's Chavo Guerrero Jr. and Hernandez, Bobby Roode and Austin Aries, Christopher Dios and Kazarian, the aka Bat Influence, and last but not least, James Storm and Gunner was pretty good and fun, even if it felt flat, felt a bit rushed at times. The last knockout standing match between Gail Tim and Tyler, Terrence Terrell I mean, was a unique and memorable to say the least. The Kurt Angle AJ Styles match was a back and forth high tech awesome bout. The no holds bar match for the world's title, it was between Bully Ray and Sting, was a hardcore, was also a hardcore smash mouth brutal brawl even if it was overbooked at best. I give this pair of you a 6 out of 10. A 6 out of 10.